In this presentation, we will take a look at month in documentation. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. In this presentation, we will take a look at month end documentation, the types of documents, the types of reports, the types of forms that we can prepare and provide for our clients within a bookkeeping system. Our bookkeeping system is one where we are actually doing the bookkeeping system ourselves. We're not sharing the file with the client. We're entering all the information into the QuickBooks file, and then we can provide the documentation at the end of the month and or at the end of the year. What would that documentation look like? We can print reports, the financial statement reports typically being the balance sheet and the profit and loss or the income statement. Those being the two main reports, we're really considering more the income statement here because that's what we're focusing on in terms of the activity. The balance sheet, it depends on the level of activity or the level of detail we're entering into the system in terms of how much the balance sheet will have. In other words, the balance sheet will include cash, which is something that's going to be important on it, but it depends on how much of an accrual method we will be using to see if there's going to be much other accounts in the balance sheet, such as accounts receivable or something uh, or equipment that will be accurate on the balance sheet. So we'll take a look at our two methods and the appropriateness of the balance sheet and what the balance sheet does and does not report under those methods. The profit and loss in the income statement is really where we're tracking most of the information because that's where the activity is for the expenses and the income that's typically going to be necessary at year end for small companies in order to uh, make their tax returns. Then we have the accounts receivable detail. If we are looking into accounts receivable, and again, we're not under the cash basis method, but if we were to increase the level of method and track accounts receivable, or at least do some invoicing in some way, then we could give a report giving uh, the customer detail for accounts receivable. Uh, deposit detail and check detail, we might actually want to print reports for the actual deposits and checks to show that they have been entered into the system. We can give graphs. Uh, we can give payroll information if we entered payroll information. Again, if, we, if there's a third party providing the payroll information, we don't really need to uh, give more payroll, but we could give the information depending on the type of payroll service we are providing and how we're working with the third party payroll. In other words, if we're the go-to person between the client and the third-party payroll, then we may want to then you know, get the reports and provide them to the clients from the third-party payroll. If we're doing the payroll within QuickBooks, then of course those reports would be relevant. Graphs are just kind of nice things too to add to get some color to the reports. And so uh, we can add some income and expense type graphs if we want to do that as well. And then any kind of backup file, we can provide the backup file. Remember that we're, what we're not doing is having both the client and us work on the file and changing it. But we're, we're happy we can provide the backup file just to give the client assurance that, hey, we're not trying to hoard the files and keep data uh, away. We're just trying to make the system separate so that we don't mess up the bookkeeping uh, by having too many people into doing the bookkeeping. So we can then provide a backup file to the clients as well. So we don't have to provide all of this stuff, but whatever some combination of this stuff to the clients is what we want to provide on a periodic basis because that's what we're, we're giving. And we want to show that that is happening through some type of reporting that we can either get to them in a paper copy or we can email it to them uh, or give it to in some kind of cloud-based system to give that information to the clients. So let's take a look at a couple of these methods. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.